Hey guys, it's Spencer and Bridger. Hey guys. And we're here to talk to you to help you decide which RV to take on your trip. The three main things that you need to worry about when you're considering going on a trip are the number of people you can sleep in an RV, also the number of people you can transport, meaning the number of seat belts in an RV, and finally, the pricing of the RV trip. Now one RV is going to be better over another, and it just totally depends on your trip and your circumstance. Right, so we'll go through and highlight those factors to help in making your decisions. So the first thing we're going to talk about is bedding. All of our motorhomes have at least three beds. There's the overhead bunk, the dinette table, and also the master bed. In some RVs, like this large C-Class bunk, you're going to have bunk beds like this, as well as a sofa that turns to a bed like this. So this unit's going to sleep up to 8 to 10 people, but it only has seven seatbelts. Seatbelt laws change from state to state. In Utah and Wyoming, everyone in the back has to be wearing a seatbelt. And in every state, when you're in the front, you always have to be wearing a seatbelt as well. The third and final thing that we're going to be covering in this video is pricing. Pricing all year round is different for each class of RV. When availability goes down, pricing goes up. And motorhomes get booked the fastest. So if that's what you're looking for, you got to be quick. But if you can take a travel trailer like this one, it is significantly less money. That's right. And the reason being is because it has no seat belts, doesn't have an engine or a generator. So you're going to need a tow vehicle to be sure to tow this vehicle. Trailers are made by the same people that make the motorhomes. And they can sleep more people because they don't have those things. Check out our website. On there we have floor plans and information about seat belts and bedding. You can also watch our other video about pricing and availability. Otherwise, give us a call or send us an email. We'll be happy to help you guys out. Be sure to check out our next videos. We'll see you next time. I think that's a winner. That's a winner.